What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another installment of a Google video. Yes, I know it's been a hot minute since I did do a Google video, but guys, I'm doing one today. In fact, guys, I switched my schedule around a little, and now, guys, I'm back to giving you guys videos every day. I'm back to giving you guys videos every day, or every chance I get, okay? Cool beans. Anyway, guys, to kick off my return to Google videos, I thought I would bring on two very special guests. You guys loved them over the years, watching them on the famous Cartoon Network show. Well, used to be a uh, car favorite Cartoon Network show, Teen Titans, even though one of these characters only showed up like, what, twice? <laughs> but anyway, you guys know them. You guys love them. They're sisters. They're sisters, one's evil, one's good, and one thing that they both have in common is that they're both Tamaranian. <laughs> Guys, I bring you the sisters themselves, Starfire and Blackfire. <laughs> Hence, since the, uh, you know, I put fire in the community tab, I figured, you know what, might as well do that. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, ladies, say hi to everyone. Why, hello there, everyone. It's nice to meet you all. Greetings! It's nice to meet you. <laughs> well, every well, ladies, you know, I've been wanting to meet you guys for a very, very long time. Especially you, Blackfire. Oh, really? Yes, I've been meeting, to, I've been wanting to meet you for so long. You know, you, you are definitely one of my favorite Teen Titans female villains. Oh, really? Yeah, you're one of my favorites. I mean, next to Jinx or um, Terra and lots of others. Hmm, well, that's really nice of you. <laughs> and, of course, Starfire. Everyone knows about you. Oh, yes. Everyone knows about me. After all, I do save the world a lot. Especially with my friends, the Teen Titans. Yeah, I know, I know. I've been watching you for years. And you know, I'm a and you know, I'm an alien myself. Oh, really? Yep. Um I'm what you I'm a Mobian. I'm basically a anthropomorphic animal. You know, an animal that can walk and talk and lots of other things. Well, that's quite interesting. Yes, it is quite the interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I do try my best, and we even have powers, too. I have fire powers, hence my name, Flame. And, of course, there's lots of others um, that's kind of like me. For example, there's my brother, Sonic. He runs fast. There's my friend, Tails. He's called that because he has two tails and can fly. Then there's my friend, Knuckles. He has spikes on his knuckles, which um, allows him to punch really hard and stuff. And, of course, there's Shadow. He's... Kind of like my brother. He's kind of like my brother, except he's black and red, and he runs fast, too. Hmm, interesting. Well, maybe we ought to pop by your planet one day and see if your friends like the party. Well, some of us do. Others, we have responsibilities. Oh, really? What kind of responsibilities? Well, just like you, we protect our planet from the evil Dr. Eggman. Dr. The Eggman? Really? Yep, that's his name. Although, he's kind of chill, actually. He's kind of chill. So we haven't been, we haven't been messing with, we haven't been messed with by him for a while, so we're getting off scot-free. Well, that's nice. Anyway, can you tell us why you brought us here? Well, I thought maybe we can, maybe I ought to introduce you guys to Google. Um, what is the Google? Well, Starfire, Google is basically a thing on the internet where people can look up things. And they also and it's also where people can put fan art. Basically drawings, sketches, and lots of other things of you guys. Wait, you mean there's actually humans out there who draw pictures of us? Yep, in many different ways, I must say. Well, I'll show you a few. Anyway, so you guys ready to begin? Yes, I guess I'm ready. Yep, I'm the ready too. Okay, 
Well guys, let's begin with this Google video. Now, if you guys want to see more Google videos, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below which Teen Titan character do you guys want me to bring on next? It can be any character from Beast Boy to Robin to Cyborg to Raven. You know, I should have brought Raven on here, but I'm pretty sure she's a little bit too busy. But anyway, so ladies, here's how this works. I type in up there in that little in that little search bar your names and we'll see what type of fan art people have made of you. But before I do that, let me at least do one thing. When you go on Google, make sure you turn on the safe search because you don't want to accidentally look up something you weren't supposed to. Anyway, so which one of you ladies want to go first? Well, since I am the older sister, I guess I'll go first. All right, Blackfire goes first. Okay, Blackfire fan art. Here we go. Boom. All right, here we go. Now we got some interesting images of you, Blackfire. Oh, really? Well, this is an interesting outfit of me right here. Yeah, I recognize this artwork. I forgot the name. Oh, wait, right there. It's, um, Cremata, whatever it is. Cremata. I mean, they actually do, she actually does make, they actually do make some really great artwork. I have seen some really interesting images and stuff, and especially, you know, this style, I love it. Hmm, I must say, this artwork is quite interesting. I love it, and I really do pull off that outfit very, very well. Although, it is a little bit revealing. You mean the, uh, the top part? Exactly. Well, I'm not gonna lie, you would look pretty nice in it. Although... Don't talk about revealing, since you're the one who kind of, you know, raided Starfire's closet and wore her outfit a little bit. Well, yes, that is true. <laughs> well, great job. Well, great job. Uh, Well, great job to the artist. Oh, I almost forgot. All the artwork shown in this video, I do not claim for myself. It all belongs to the respective artists, so please show them your love and support, okay? I do not claim any of these artworks, pieces myself. Anyway, let's keep on going here and see what else we can find in. Whoa, ho, ho, okay. Now, this is a really interesting picture, even though it's a little bit blurry. Well, blurry or not, I still love it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it does look really nice. I mean, I love the shading and everything. Um, sister, why are your, um, <coughs> bigger? Well, oh, 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 um, Starfire, you might not want to know about that, because, yeah, you might not want to know about that. Anyway, let's take a look at this. Whoa, now this is definitely interesting. Well, I do turn heads a little bit. I mean, yeah, I mean, look at you, hello. Anyway, that's interesting how you're rocking fishnet stockings. Do you honestly think you can rock fishnet stockings? Mm, maybe I could. Maybe I couldn't. Although, all types of clothing look good on me. <laughs> well, let's run down the list here, see. We got Raven, who's not interested in the top up there. Robin and Cyborg, they're definitely dazed by your looks. And Starfire is just curious. Well, yes, I am the curious because I really want to know if that outfit will look good on me. Well, maybe it would, maybe it won't, but overall it does look really nice. It does look really cool, but anyway, yeah, great job to the artist. And I'm just gonna secretly save that. Oh, did you save that to your little photo gallery? Uh, no, no. Okay, maybe a little. Dang it. Ugh. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Okay, let's just keep going. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Some of these images is quite interesting. Especially this one right here, showing off your your abs a little bit, or your tight belly. Well, I don't really like showing that much skin on me. I really don't like that, because I don't want people to get the wrong image of me. Well, yeah, that is true. I mean, lots of people seem to get the wrong image of, you know, a lot of characters who show a little bit of skin. Like, for example, Wonder Woman, who runs around in that tight leotard and everything. And then there's, uh, for example, Raven, who wears the same thing, too. A tight outfit like that. It's kind of nuts. But I'm not going to lie. There are a lot of characters out there who do do that. Ugh. 
but it's interesting really. By the way, Blackfire, normally when I do Google videos, I sometimes ask the uh, people questions. I actually ask the guests questions, like for example, how come you were trying to get black? How come you were trying to, you know, outdo, you know, Starfire and everything? Because if I remember correctly, in the like the second episode of season one of the Teen Titans, and yes, I do remember the Teen Titans guys, the first, the first one, not Teen Titans Go. Um, if I remember correctly, you were trying to get Blackfire to take your place in jail. I mean, you were trying to get Starfire to take your place in jail. Why was that? Well, because she's so gullible and always curious about things, I thought maybe she would take my place. After all, some people seem to think the innocent looking is most definitely the most dangerous looking. Well, that is true. <laughs> Just ask my friend Cream the Rabbit. She's cute and innocent, but sometimes she's dangerous when she gets mad. A cute little rabbit? Mad? How old is she? Six. Six? And she can be scary when mad? Trust me, you have not lived until you see Cream the Rabbit mad. Oh boy. And I'm secretly going to save that image too. Oh, you little perv. Are you really saving images of me? No, no, no. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's just keep her going. Let's just keep her going. Let's just keep her going. Whoa, hello. Look at that. Empress Blackfire. I remember that. That was the episode where you tricked your where you tried to trick your sister into marrying this slime monster. Yes, and then I ended up marrying him. Ugh. It was just horrible. Yeah, that is true. Lots of people seem to lots of people really wondered whatever happened between you and Glurtle Skletch. Hmm. Well, I really don't want to talk about it. It was horrible, just living on that planet with that slime ball. I really didn't like it. I really, really didn't like it. It was just horrible. I mean, I mean, I'd rather be the Empress of Tamaran, but since, since my sister beat me, I'm not anymore, and I'm banished from the planet. Well, you're the one who tried to trick me into marrying that monster. I really didn't like it. And I'm glad that my friends found out the truth for me before I made a terrible mistake. Yeah, I'm glad they did that too, because Blackfire, really, really, you really thought you could do that to your sister? By the way, what was the plan anyway that you wanted her to do that? I just wanted to embarrass her. Ugh, that's just nasty. Okay, well anyway, let's keep on going here and see what else I can find here, and... Whoa, hello, this is interesting. It's both of you. Ooh, I look nice in this one. Yeah, same here. Although, <laughs> I do look more dangerous. Me? I don't kind of look that the dangerous. I look the cute. Well, I'm not gonna lie, you do look really cute, Starfire, and, uh, whoa, what the heck is this? Okay, draw, okay, what the heck is this? Uh, draw fan art of a character, okay. Uh, let's see, a model as close to canon as possible. Okay, so they pretty much just took an image from out of a, uh, scene from Teen Titans and just drew it themselves and tried to copy as best as they could. And what's this one? Uh, in your style and or with, with your hand. Oh man, so they checked, <laughs> so they basically just redesigned you, Blackfire. Um, I don't necessarily like this, but it does look nice, I mean, don't get me wrong. Although, the designed, um, fishnet stockings was interesting touch, really, and the really too small, um, top and everything. And what's up with my arm? Um, I'm guessing maybe it's a tattoo, or maybe just one of those arm sleeves. <laughs> I put an arm I put a glove over my arm sleeve. Over an arm sleeve. Now that's definitely something. Yeah, I know, that's definitely nuts. Oh, look at this one. This one looks really cute and adorable. Well, even though I am kind of a villain, lots of people seem to like me a lot. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many uh, people really, really love bad chicks. I mean, trust and believe me, a lot of people love female villains. 
In fact, a lot of people seem to, you know, want to, you know, <clears throat> smash female villains. Smash female villains? Like, what kind of smash? Tell me, is it like smash as in the fighting? Uh, no, Starfire. Can you please put the Starbolt away? Put the Starbolt away, Starfire. <sighs> anyway, it's not that type of smash, okay? Um, basically, um... Okay, how do I make this family friendly? Um... It's basically the how you got here. How I got here? Oh, I see. Um, how'd I got here? Um, the how I got here was, you know, a spaceship. I crash landed. Um, not that kind of how you got here, um, Starfire. Okay, never mind. You know what? She's too young and innocent and pure to know what the heck that was. But anyway, let's just keep going. Let's just keep on going and see what else I can find here. And whoa, okay. Wow, that's interesting. It's both of you. <laughs> it's both of you again. Well, I do like the outfit, and again with the fishnets. What is with people always putting me in fishnets? I'm guessing lots of people really like you in fishnets. I don't know why. And Starfire, you look really preoccupied with that, um... It almost looked like a Nintendo Switch. But <laughs> it's not a Nintendo Switch because I see that alien logo on in the center of it. It's just funny. Yeah, and then there's Silky. Oh, I miss him. Whoa, whatever happened to Silky anyway? Well, I, he's still at the tower. I do miss him. I hope he's not the hungry too much when I get back. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, anyway. Well, anyway, it looks like all three of you are just hanging out. Oh, by the way, Blackfire, have you ever met Silky before? Who's Silky? Um, he's, li he's basically, um, Starfire's pet. A pet? You never told me you had a pet. Well, he's basically a um <clears throat> a little companion. He's a little companion that I was holding on for Beast Boy. Okay, so basically, long story short, there was an episode of Teen Titans where Killer Moth, he's he's one of uh the t the, the Titans villains. Um, he pretty much created a mutant moth army. He pretty much created a mutant moth army where um. He wanted to take over the city, but he had another problem. He had another problem, and which was uh, he needed to find a date for his daughter's prom. He basic his, his daughter was basically really really spoiled, and so he made a deal with Robin, and the deal was I won't attack the city if Robin, if Robin would um take my daughter to the prom of course that made starfire very very jealous <laughs> that made starfire very very jealous and of course that made the city safe for like a few minutes until his daughter betrayed them and then just ruined everything then a major fight broke out and everything then a major fight broke out between um the girl's ex-boyfriend and robin and then the girl then then, you know, the daughter and Starfire started fighting and everything. And then as soon as Starfire ruined her dress, she snapped and let all the mutant moths out. Luckily, Beast Boy, Raven, and Cyborg kept them at bay while he dealt with the others. It was just nuts. It was just really, really nuts. <laughs> and then, after finally defeating the moths, they turned back into these cute little larva things. And Beast Boy sick and Beast Boy secretly kept one as a pet. And he also and he asked Starfire to take care of him. Yes, and it was very, very great. I enjoy playing with him. Yeah. But anyway, let's keep on going here and see what other image I can find here. And oh boy, I recognize this image. I used this image on one of my videos before. Oh, really? You made a video where you talked about me? Well, yeah. Basically, I made a video where I talked about which Teen Titan girl was more waifu material. And, um, well, I said you were the most waifu material. Because if you think about it like this, because if you do think about it like this, um, a lot of people seem to like Raven more, a lot of people seem to like Starfire more, but me, I like you. 
<laughs> in fact, I like all three of you, but I do like you mostly. Oh, really? Well, that's nice. And I do have to admit, I do look good in that in this image. Yeah, great job to the artist right here. And by the way, what is that around my waist, those black lines? Oh, those are basically, um... Okay, so basically what people like to do is like... People sometimes like to draw, like, you know, people, uh, girls wearing skirts and stuff, and they have, like, these, um, their underwear straps, like, going, like, a little bit up to their thigh and stuff. So, oh, no, 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 not the, no, not up to their thigh. Like, they're, um, like, up to their waist, so that way it looks a little bit more nice and stuff, because it all depends on, it, because it all depends on where or what they're wearing, like, the skirt and stuff. Because some people do do that. Some people do that with jeans. Some people do that with skirts. It's nuts. But it's a fashion thing. Hmm. Interesting. I might have to try that. Oh, you better be careful because there's a lot of girls out there who keep getting their straps stuck on things. And they're most likely to end up getting a, um, <clears throat> a wedgie. What is the wedgie? It's basically where somebody pulls your underwear, like, really, really hard and long, and then next thing you know, it just hurts, like, really, really badly. Some people stretch them so long, some people stretch them so hard that they can go over your head, even though that is, like, a cartoon thing. Ugh. It's just nuts. Ugh. Anyway, let's keep on going here. Anyway, I think we looked up enough of Blackfire. So, Starfire, I think now it's your turn. All right. Oh, but first, before we do, look at this. It's a picture of you two with short hair. Um, do you guys honestly think you can rock the short hair look? I can't. I love my hair. Um, yes, same here. I'm never shaving my head. I never make getting short hair. I prefer long, luxurious hair. <laughs> yeah, I figured that. Anyway, let's see what else we got here. So next up we have is Starfire fan art. Boom. Okay, there we go. Now we got into now we got pictures of you, Starfire. And hey, look at that. It's the same artist that we saw earlier, and only this time she drew a picture of you. Starfire. <laughs> hmm, nice. I do have to admit, I do look the cute here, but what's that shirt that I'm wearing? Um, that's a NASA shirt. It's basically a space program. It's based it means International Air and Space Association. They're basically astronauts who work night and day uh, working on space and um, discovering stuff that has something to do with space and everything. It's interesting, really. Hmm, quite nice. And I do look really cute in all of these. <laughs> yeah, I do have to admit, you do look really cute, Starfire. You do look cute. No wonder everybody seems to like you a lot more than, you know, Raven and everybody. Anyway, let's keep on going and whoa. Now this is a cute image, even though it's blurry. It's still cute. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do like this one. It looks nice. Although my, um, <clears throat> are a bit perky. Well, they, well, I guess they are, but <laughs> think about it like this. Teenagers develop like that. They can get, you know, oops, um, fast like that because they're growing up into adulthood. It's nuts, really, but yeah. Anyway, let's keep going before I talk myself into an awkward position. Okay, how many times am I going to see this? <laughs> how many times am I going to see this person's artwork? Not that I'm complaining or anything. It looks really nice and stuff. It looks cute. It looks nice. Yes, but what am I wearing? Well, it looks like you're wearing uh, sweater sleeves. Looks like you're wearing sweater sleeves, and you got like a little necklace that matches your little um charms and stuff that you wear, and you also got your hair in a different style. Um, does anybody know the name of that style? Comment down below. What's the name of that hairstyle that Starfire has? And it looks like you're drinking out of a NASA mug. That's too cute. Drinking out of a NASA mug. <laughs> oh, look at this one. It's a picture of you and Raven. 
By the way, Starfire, how close are you and Raven? Oh, we're really the close. Because I remember this one mission that we went on where the boys were taken over by the puppet king and me and Raven switched bodies. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That was a really, really interesting episode. That was a really interesting episode. Just seeing Raven and Starfire get so close after being in each other's bodies and stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys did actually bond a whole lot more, even after that episode. Even after those episodes, you bonded a little bit more. It was really, it's really nice to know how the female um, members of the team actually bonded so closely. Well, yes, because, you know, we really don't have much to do when we're not saving the day and stuff. And we work really well, too, especially in a fight. <laughs> Yeah, I seen yeah, I seen what you got what you girls could do. And I'm not gonna lie, you two really do work well together. Anyway, let's keep on going and see what else we can find here. Ooh, this is a really interesting picture of you. Really interesting. Mm, yes, it is interesting. Um, what am I wearing exactly? It looks like you're wearing shorts and a little tube top that's um has a lipstick kiss mark on it. And it looks like you're wearing makeup and your fingernails are done too. Hmm. Well, I don't really wear lipstick. I don't really wear it. And not only that, I don't know about the nail polish. Even though I do know about the toenails, I don't know much about the fingernail polish. Um, that's interesting, Starfire. <laughs> oh boy, I have a lot to teach this girl. Oh boy. But anyway, great job to the artist. It looks awesome. Okay, let's keep on going here. Hmm. I don't really see much in... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Did anybody else see that? I hope not. Anyway, let's keep going. And whoa, hey, look at this. It's me and Nightwing. Nightwing? Who's that? Okay, so basically you see um, Blackfire, you know Robin, right? Well, yes. Well, Robin, when he gets older, he won't become, he won't be Robin anymore. He'll be another character named Nightwing. And he's basically still Robin in a way, but yeah. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm not gonna lie, Robin does look really cute when he gets older. <laughs> Don't count your chickens before they hatch. This is a different um, version. This is a different version. Because you see, there's a different time... Because you see, there's a different universe or timeline where Robin and... Well, Nightwing and Starfire actually got together. Wait, really? Yes, it's really funny. They got together. They got together, they became roommates, and next thing you know, they ended up getting married and all that other stuff. Wait, really? Yeah, they did, but they never exactly fully committed to their relationship and stuff. And let's just say that that Starfire was so mad at his replacement. His replacement? Yeah, because you see, basically, the Robin from that world is named Dick Grayson. And he really, and I repeat... Really was into Starfire until his other, until his replacement, um, accidentally killed him. What? Yeah, that basically happened. And spoiler alerts to to, to anybody who doesn't know that story. Sorry. Which brings me to this question, Starfire. What are your feelings about Robin? Well, he is quite the funny. He is quite the funny when he gets the chance although he does take fighting crime and defeating evil seriously i mean most heroes do do that i mean me i take fighting evil seriously myself i mean don't get me wrong honestly don't get me wrong because defeating evil is what drives people nuts you know making a difference and they're a little bit worried about you know what people would say if they you know Fail. That's what Robin really is worried about and why he takes things seriously. 
It's because he's worried about failing. And trust and believe me, after talking and fighting with Robin for so many years, I know what it's like to fail. You fought with Robin? Yeah, way before he, yeah, way before he um, went with the Teen Titans. I, f I helped him alongside his, his, um, his, um, his teacher, Batman. Because I'm not going to lie, he really did, he really was really, really nice and stuff and cool. And then next thing you know, one thing led to another and then he started leading the Titans and Batman does check on him every now and then. It's quite nice, really. Well, I'm glad. Yeah. Anyway, check out this. Oh, I recognize this artwork. It's an A. It's AI. AI? Yeah. Artificial intelligence. Yep, artificial intelligence. And people use AI for lots of things. And the most famous thing is, well, artwork, as you can see. Wait. Image? Wait, hold up. So, let me get this straight. Um, what's up, Blackfire? Well, let me get this straight. People don't normally draw with hands and stuff? Most people do do that. It's like mainly with the sketches and stuff. And then they work their way onto to the computer and draw the image from there. And then after that, they um, do whatever they want with them. And with this, they did draw on, they did, um, you know, work with it on a computer. Um, this is an interesting image of me. <laughs> I do like it a lot. Well, I'm glad you like it, Starfire. Anyway, back to your question, back to the question. Um, how do you feel about Robin and, oh, speak of the devil, there he is. He looks scared of you. Well, don't get me wrong. Lots of people seem to be scared of me. <laughs> because, um, think about it like this. You are, a str you are, um, very, very strong and powerful. In fact, you're the most powerful and strong girl out of the whole entire team. And unlike Raven, you do have a bit of a temper sometimes when you get angry. Well, yes, but I know how to control my temper. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Unlike Raven, Raven doesn't really know how to control her temper as much as many, you know, massive explosions of anger I've seen in her. I mean, remember what she did to Dr. Light? Oh, yeah, I remember that. It was quite the terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is... But anyway, yeah, Robin, he does seem to like you a whole lot, especially in that movie you made. Um, what was it again? Um, Trouble in Tokyo. Yeah, that was, yeah, that's right. You two really got really close together when that, when that movie came out. Yeah, we did. And that was the first time we ever... <clears throat> oh, that. What? What's going on? Well, Blackfire, you see, in that movie... Like I said before, Robin and Starfire did get really close in that movie. And, well, let's just say that was the first time they ever officially kissed. Wait, you kissed Robin? Well, yes, I did. The first time that we met, I kissed him too. That was only because she needed to learn English. Because don't you Tamaranians learn different languages through lip contact? Well, yes, we do. <laughs> well, that's pretty much what Starfire did. It was nuts and stuff. But anyway, let's keep on going and see what else we can find here. And look at that. More images of uh, you and Nightwing. Wow. Whoa, look at this. It's many different DC girls. Okay, so let's see. Let's run down. We got um, Artemis. We got Artemis right there at the far end. You and Blackfire, there's Bumblebee. Yes, Bumblebee. She's a really great friend of ours. Yeah, she leads yeah, she leads the Titans East, is that right? Yes, that is the right. <laughs> then of course there's Batgirl, I don't know who that is, and then there's Harley Quinn. Yep. Anyway, let's keep on going in. Oh my gosh, another one of you and Nightwing. Wow. And whoa, hey, look at this. It's you and your Teen Titans Go style. Oh yes. Yes, I remember meeting my go self. <laughs> yeah, because I remember that movie where the Teen Titans go versus the Teen Titans. It was that episode where you two, where where both of you actually met and worked together. <laughs> and not to mention that whole entire paradox of, you know, 
many different Titan teams and many multiverses, which was just nuts. Oh, boy. Yeah, I never imagined there would be so many different versions of me. <laughs> yeah, although I really do need to bring on Teen Titans Go version Starfire, because if you think about it, I really want to know some similarities and differences between you two. But, eh, maybe I might, maybe I might not. But anyway, let's keep on going and see what else we can find. Whoa, okay, backing that picture off. That was weird. Did anybody see that? I hope not. Anyway, whoa. Whoa. Now that is awesome. It's on the computer. It's a computer-generated statue of you two fighting. Well... Me and Starfire, we do have our fights every so often. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Both both of you really, really did tear up your castle in that fight at your wedding, Starfire. Yes, we did do that. That was crazy. That was quite the crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day... It's always Starfire who always brings on the victory. Oh, by the way, Blackfire, I've been meaning to ask you, how come you never decided to, uh, you know, be good? Hmm, well, I never really thought about it that way. I mean, saving people? That's not necessarily my thing. Me? I just like having fun. Oh, boy. Anyway, look at that. <laughs> hey, Starfire, look at this. Um, what is this? That is what I like to say is your family. What? Yeah, Nightwing and Starfire. It's basically the other version of you, don't worry. It's the other version of you. So basically what happened was was that you two actually did get married and you guys had kids. Having k k k kids? Yeah. It's nuts, I know. <laughs> well, um, I don't see any more... Um... Why? What the world is this? Um, what is that image? Um, okay, so basically what you're wearing is, is, um, <clears throat> Saiyan armor. Saiyan armor? What's a Saiyan? Okay, so basically what they is, is, okay, so basically what they are is, well, <sighs> okay, let me start, okay, so let me start from the beginning. They are from a show which we like to call an anime. And an anime is basically a Japanese cartoon. They eat, they have two different types, one in English and one in Japanese. One in English and one in Japanese. Anyway, um from anyway, the anime that we're looking at is called Dragon Ball Z. And Dragon Ball Z is where the Saiyans are. And what a Saiyan is, is an alien who has massive, and I repeat, massive amounts of energy. And they get stronger every single time they fight and get angry. Hmm, interesting. And that's the type of armor that they wear? Well, some of them, yes. Well, some of them, yes. The men and women have two different types of Saiyan armor. It all depends on their fit and everything. Me, myself, I have Saiyan armor. Because, you know, I'm part Saiyan. But I thought you said you were part Mobian. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to flat out say this. I'm like a, I'm like a, a party mix of many different things. Because, you see, I'm part Dragon. I'm part Succubus. I'm part Mobian. I'm part God and everything. It's nuts. Oh, boy. Anyway... <sighs> That's the type of armor that they wear. That's the type of armor that they wear, Starfire. That's the type of armor that they wear. It's kind of cute and everything, but yeah. Anyway, whoa, what the heck is this? Hmm, this is a um very interesting image of me. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. It's giving me mixed feelings. <laughs> don't worry, Starfire. It's just an image. Nobody's going to see this. And I'm just going to save that image. Why are you saving that? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm scrolling off of that, scrolling off of that. Whoa, and look at this, it's you and Raven. Now that's what I call very, very close friends. That's really close friends. And I'm wearing earrings again. I don't really understand what the earrings are. Okay, they're basically, it's basically jewelry. It's basically jewelry. 
Um, you know that necklace that that Blackfire gave you? Yeah, that is um, that is what that is <laughs> jewelry. Anyway, it looks like you and Raven are just vibing. I don't know, but anyway, nice image. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, let's look at one more image and then we'll, um, call it and look at something else. Oh, look at this image. It's a picture of you and Raven in front of Titan's Tower. By the way, have you ever gotten in contact with Raven yet? Because, believe it or not, I have heard that you Titans actually went on your separate ways. But you do team up every so often. Oh, yes, we do. We did split up. Me, I'm actually, um, I actually joined the Justice League. Wait a minute, what? Yes, I, um, joined the Justice League. In fact, a lot of us joined the Justice League. Wait, really? Yes. Um, me, Cyborg, Raven, Beast Boy, we all joined the Justice League. Wait, really? Wow, that's interesting. But what about Robin? Oh, he didn't join the Justice League. He, um, well, he's doing his own thing. He's doing his own thing, and, um, he doesn't really want to fool around with the Justice League as much, even though he does call on us from time to time. Oh, I see. Let me guess, Nightwing? Yes. Oh, boy. Well, anyway, great job to the artist. Great job. Okay, ladies... We are finally going to look at something a lot of people, you guys, a lot of people have been wanting to see. We are going to see you two together. Oh boy, see if we can try and find some interesting images of both of you together. And wow, okay, not gonna lie. Not, okay, not gonna lie, wasn't expecting these images. Like, for example, these. <laughs> What type of poses are these? And the faces, oh my gosh. What the heck kind of poses and faces are these? Not only that, you guys hardly have a nose. Oh my goodness, guys. This is just weird. I really don't understand that um, image. I really don't. Neither do I. And although we do look like we're bonding as sisters, I guess... Yeah, anyway, let's keep going and see what else we can find here. Wait a minute, hold up. I've seen this image before, but I honestly don't know what I think it is. Oh, it's Raven and Beast Boy. How can you tell that's Beast Boy? Green Dog. Oh, right. Although we did see... Although we did fight an alien who had another Green Dog for a pet. Well, yeah, that is true, but that's not him, I don't think. Hmm... Anyway, let's see what else we got here. Um, ooh, this is a really interesting one. It's just you two hanging out and... Blackfire, why are you smoking? Well, I don't really smoke. I mean, if I was smoking, how would I keep this fashionable body? Well, yeah, true. And it looks like both of you are just hanging out by the ledge of a building. It's just nice and stuff. But anyway, it just looks really cool. Anyway, let's keep on going and see what else we can find. Um, whoa, now that is crazy. Is this what happens every time you guys fly? Like, your hair moves in the wind of, you know, like, fire and everything? Well, the other versions of us do. Oh, other versions? Yes, we met our, <clears throat> we met our DC superhero girl versions. Oh, yeah, those versions. I almost forgot you guys were in DC superhero girls. Well, uh, another version of you. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, you guys do look really cool. It looks really nice. That hairstyle, on the other hand, I honestly don't know what that it is, but yeah. Anyway, let's keep on going and see what else we can find. What the hey is this? What the hey is this? Okay, I'm a little bit confused. I don't know who is who. I'm guessing those are our parents, I'm guessing, maybe? I don't know. I don't know either, because I see two Tamaranian girls and one Tamaranian guy. Honestly, I don't know what the heck that is. Um, that's interesting. Whoa, now this looks interesting too. You two look really beautiful here. Wait, you think that we're beautiful? I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, look at this. The tops, 
I mean, think about it. The outfits and everything, the matching earrings, lipstick, necklaces and everything. And not only that, but you guys look happy as sisters. I mean, don't get me wrong, but I'm just going to save that. But uh, don't get me wrong, guys. Even though you two do, don't get along, you guys should actually get along as sisters. I mean, look at this. Look at all the different images of you guys just bonding as sisters. You know, he does have a point, sis. He does have a point. All we ever do is fight whenever we get together. Well, yeah, that is true. I mean, hang on. Let's, like, let's find one more picture of you guys together. So that way we can end off the video. And oh no, there's that picture of you two of fighting. Get that out of here. Um, let's see. We saw this image earlier. Um, I'm trying to find a good one. Hold up. I'm trying to find a good one. I don't get this. I really don't get that one right there. Starfire, Blackfire, I don't get that one right there. I don't get that one. Um. Okay, guys, I'm just going to say this. I'm starting to uh, not find anything. It's nuts. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this image right here. I mean, see, look at you guys. You guys look amazing as sisters. And just think about how close you guys could be whenever you guys fight evil. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do get mad at my sisters every so often. How many sisters do you have? Um, three. I have three sisters. Two blood sisters and one adopted sister. Well, yeah, but anyway, you two look great together, so enough with the fighting. How about you two just get along and, you know, everything can be all good. What do you say, sister? Shall we say, how, how you humans say, bury the hatchet? Well, I believe so. Oh, Starfire, I am so sorry for all the years I ever bullied you or picked on you. Oh, that's okay, sister. Even though we don't get along, I do still love you and do hope that one day we find the good in you. You already have. And thanks to this little fluffy boy over here, I'm going to change my ways and be a hero from now on. And maybe I can get the others to be nice, too. Others? What do you mean, others? Oh, I'm talking about the other Teen Titan and other DC villains. Well, I already done so. Half of them are already good and stuff. But maybe you could be, maybe you could do the other half and, you know, see if you can get the DC um characters, like the villains and stuff, to get along. Hmm, yes. Maybe I might do that. But anyway, what was that that you said about us being beautiful, huh? I mean, don't get me wrong, you are beautiful. Well, Starfire, how about we show this fluffy boy just how beautiful and how well we can get along as sisters? Oh, yes, I think I might know what you're talking about, Blackfire. Um, ladies, why are you looking at me like that? Hmm, well, let's just say... Us aliens need to stick together in more ways than one. Oh, no. Uh, okay, um, guys. I think I'm gonna have myself a little Tamaranian sandwich or over here, guys. I think I'm gonna have a Tamaranian sandwich over here. Uh, they're the cookies and I'm the cream. Oh, God. Okay, uh... Well, if well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And also let me know in the comments down below uh if you guys want me to bring Blackfire or Starfire back onto the channel because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might want me to bring them on back again. And uh what else? Oh, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell so that way you guys will update whenever I post. And guys, like I said before, I'm going back to posting every single day and everything. And yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Blackfire, why are you touching me there? Hmm, just wanting to see what we're working with. Um, that doesn't mean you need to touch my wings. Oh man, you're touching my wings. Okay. Um, Starfire, you're petting me. You're just so fluffy. Oh boy. Well, guys, if you need me, I'm gonna be taking care of these girls. 
This is Flame the Dragon Hog signing out for now. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, Blackfire, Starfire, is there, is there anything else like to say before we head on out? Well, I just want to say thank you so much to Flame for finally showing me that over the years, I need to be a much better sister and treat my sister right and other people as well. Life isn't always about partying and clubs and loud music. It's about doing what's right and using your powers for good. Yes, then that's exactly what I do. So maybe I ought to ask if maybe you would like to join the Justice League? Hmm, I might consider that. Okay, well, glad. I might talk to Batman about this, because after all, he is the main man. Same thing with Superman. I need to talk to him, too. Oh, boy. Well, anyway, um, as I was saying, this is Flame the Dragon Hog signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.